All right, so today I've started something that I don't even know if it's going to be any good. I just 3D printed this little toroidal prop, and so yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to go basically. <laughs> so it's got a 1 8 hole in it. I need to drill it out because we had a little bit of a no good there on the end and clean the whole thing up. Um, I'm going to give it a go on this here. So this is a 34 ish millimeter prop. This is a 36. This is actually the upgrade that we sell for this boat. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to clean this up, get it on there. doesn't have any teeth for the drive dog there, so I have to figure that out. we just be a make a little cut and try to not get on all of the blades. And um, yeah, give it a go, I guess. It might just explode. It might be no good. So we'll see what happens when we put it in the water. It's just, just a random one that we found online. All right, so I've just run a drill through the hole. Now it's at least the same shape as that side. So uh, you can see the end is still pretty ugly. I haven't touched anything, but if we can get it on there, I'll be happy. All right, so that's gonna go on, which is good. Just need to decide where I'm gonna do the, oh, I can probably get away with most of it. There actually, I don't... I'll try and bring this so you can see what I'm thinking. It's trying to miss the the blades there so I'm hoping just run an angle grinder across there and that'll fix it hopefully I can just run the blade down that and that'll fix this up Obviously, I don't know if that blade's going to be anywhere near thick enough. I might have to shimmy it around a little bit, but I'll find out. <laughs> it's not going to go on. Oh, it's so close. It is very close. You see that? Take these off. Alright, just a little bit of massaging on the sides of it. Probably this way. So yeah. Well, it's on there. Actually, it doesn't look like it's too out of brew either. I shouldn't be able to spin it by the clock, should I? I'm just lining it up on something and just... Actually, I think that's not bad. And from what I can see, I don't know whether it's a nut. Oh, it's still a little. From what I can see, I think this nut's going to go back on, which is really cool. And uh, just clean this thing up a bit. Just to toss it straight in the water. Oh, nearly <laughs> lost it. All right, I've got the Dremel out here. This is just a little grinding tool, I guess. I don't even know what to tip, bit, call them what you want. I'm just gonna try and clean up just along the, the front edges here, these blades, and don't know how this is gonna go. Hopefully we don't destroy it instantly, but we'll find out. <laughs> So after about five, ten minutes of doing that, it's uh, visually more ugly, but it's pretty smooth. So I'm not going to worry about just doing everything. Like you can hear that my nail is grabbing on that, but all that stuff's not too worrying about me. It's more about the really sharp parts on the edges here. I missed a little bit there, but I'll probably just knock that bit back with a file or something. So I guess the next thing is just chuck it in the water and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So we've got that prop on there now. 
I don't know how it's going to go. It might not go at all. It might not get on the plane. It might just explode. So we'll uh, see what happens, I guess. Let's see it explode. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and go easy so try and get it to work. Will there be flames in that if it explodes? I don't know if it's going to be that kind of explosion. Oh, damn. And it's <laughs> crumbled right then and threw in the water. <laughs> That's a cavitating really bad. Yeah, it's like trying to grab, but it's it's not. Ooh. Well, it didn't break, but it didn't work either. I haven't floored it. Yet. You haven't floored it. No. <laughs> it's only one speed, bro. <laughs> it's really uh, steering it like a lot. Like, oh. You're just going forward. Yeah, all right. Well, that's probably not going to work. Probably not. Okay, so this time I'm going to chuck on a much bigger one that I got printed up. Uh, as you can see, the inside, the middle of it is quite a bit thicker, so the whole thing's like overall a lot bigger. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. And uh, after this, we'll probably chuck on uh, the normal one if this doesn't work any good. So. Let's find out. Oh, it's about the same. Wow, about flipped it over. Oh, I think it just broke. Must have some blades on there because it's still driving back in. Oh my god, there's about nothing on there. Oh. Okay, well, I think I'm done with these. Unless anyone knows anything about them. <coughs> wow, there's really nothing left on there to turn. I'm surprised that it even drove back in. Okay. That's the end of them, I think. But. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is the upgrade prop that we sell for these things. It's a couple of mil bigger than stock. It goes, I can't remember. I think it's about eight. What's seven yeah. k's an hour faster or something? Yeah. So it's worth putting on. Yeah, just instant revs. Oops. Oh, that was so lucky. The lid is out there. Oh no. How'd that come off? Yeah. Is that flotation on it? Yeah, it's floating off. Alright, so we've got it all back and we're on the bench again. And uh, the tabs that hold this on, I thought they broke off and that's why we lost the lid, but everything seems fine. So I'm just going to. So let me show you that it slips back on, locks, whoop, helps to get the lid on properly. Locks on properly, it's on there, holds it up. So I'm not really sure what happened, but lucky it's got flotation in the lid. <laughs> Otherwise we definitely would have lost that. If this has happened to anyone else, just let us know what you did, because I'd like to know and prevent that from happening again, because it wasn't even a big crash. It just sort of did a barrel roll and next thing you know, the lid was gone.